This is the Asus G20CB, a monster in a small form factor. Hey what's up guys, Abhi here from Pixelbot and this is our full review of the Asus G20CB. Is this the ultimate pre-built gaming PC? Let's get started. So the overall approach of Asus with the G20 lineup is to provide the obsolete amount of power in as small form factor as possible but still maintaining the signature ROG look and feel. The looks are pretty similar to the last gen as the whole body is made up of pretty good quality plastic with a matte finish which doesn't catch his fingerprints at all and that is a good thing. And the signature red and black look with these sharp sexy edges is also maintained which makes it look absolutely beautiful. And these grills make it look like something straight out of a spaceship which is damn cool in my opinion. That's enough of me talking about the outside, let's get on to the real deal which is the internals. And a lot has been changed here. As now this beast packs up an Intel i7-6700 quad core CPU clocked at 4GHz, 32GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 2133MHz, a full-fledged GTX 1080, 256GB of M2 SATA SSD and 3TB of 7200RPM hard drive which is absolutely insane and it comes with Windows 10 pre-installed so you are ready to rock as soon as you plug it in. In addition to that, this has Wi-Fi built in and has Bluetooth 4.0. And with all of these amazing specs, it costs a whopping 1,85,000 here in India and roughly around 2,200 US dollars. But even if you try to make a custom PC with similar kind of specs, the overall pricing will be quite similar and I'm sure you won't get it in such a compact design. I can't stop talking about the design because the amount of horsepower that Asus has managed to bump into this 9.5 liter chassis is quite impressive and I'm surely impressed. You can easily travel with this and take this to LAN party and just plug and play which is basically the main objective of Asus that it is trying to approach with this G20 lineup. The front grille for instance acts as a cool showcase for the RGB lighting present inside and also helps with the airflow. Because of being such smaller in size, cooling could have been issue but we have the fan grills on top as well so the overall thermal performance was quite good as the CPU was around 65 degrees at the max and the GPU reached at 84 degrees under full load which is a bit high but it remained pretty silent which is quite impressive. The red band in the middle across the body complements the ROG branding and also houses the DVD drive which is a welcomed addition and even the front USB ports and audio jacks have been modified to match the red ROG theme and props to Asus for making this look so good. Overall I really really like the stealth look of the chassis with these angular edges on both sides and in addition to such goodness Asus has also included a mouse and keyboard which are in something super high end but it's always nice to have something instead of nothing and overall these are in bad and can be used daily with no issues at all. The keyboard is membrane and have red backlighting which is decent and one thing that I really liked about this keyboard was the audio control but it doesn't feature anti ghosting or anti rollover so that might be an issue for some while gaming. The included mouse wasn't something special just a regular mouse and I don't have any complaints with that. The IO is well laid out throughout the system and have a decent number of ports so connectivity will not be a major issue. On back we have 2 USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, Gigabit Ethernet, 7.1 audio and other necessary jacks, Kensington lock and 2 power jacks on which I'll talk later. Coming on to the display ports, it has quite a wide selection as it has a full fledged GTX 1080 inside so it offers the same standard layout found on the other Pascal GPUs like dual link DVI, dual HDMI 2.0 and dual display port 1.4 ports. Then on front we have two USB 3.1 ports, a headphone and microphone jack and a slim DVD drive. The power button is present on top which is nice and 
subtle as it blends into the overall design element and Asus has really tried hard to make its design into what it is. And as I talked earlier, we have two power jacks and why? Because you just can't fit a full-fledged power supply inside such a small case. So yep, we have to plug two sockets into the wall in order to make it work. Plus one cable is shorter than the other so it surely creates some cable management and both of the power bricks have different inputs as the top one takes 180 watts and the bottom one takes 230 watts. With the increasing RGB trend, Asus has given the G20 some hot shots. But it is very subtle and isn't something off the charts which I personally like. We have three zones to customize the lighting which offers the front two grills and the bottom part. We can change the effects and the overall color through the given software. We basically have three effects that can be tweaked around through the Aegis 3 software. So we can have pulse, wave and static effect for the three zones and we can also change the speed and the color and you can turn it off as well. Talking about the Aegis 3, you can monitor your whole PC through it from clock speed disk usage to temperature and you can also change the fan speeds. You also get quite a lot of bloatware pre-installed. But keeping that aside according to me, this is a solid option for anyone who doesn't want to get into the process of making custom PCs and wants a simple plug and play option, either for gaming purposes or productivity like video editing, which this handles like a champ. And it should, seeing the price tag that it comes with. Here is some gameplay and benchmarks, so enjoy the show. So coming on to the conclusion, as I talked earlier, this is quite a good option for anyone looking for a pre-built PC. If you have the budget, the performance you're getting in this is really solid and has a really good design as well while being so compact. The PC can easily handle multi-monitor setups and can do 4K gaming as well with the breeze. So that's about it guys. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you did and think that either this PC or this video rocks, then don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and moreover, don't forget to subscribe to Pixelbot for more awesome gaming content. Thank you.